Great. Maria, this was your second speech. You looked very comfortable up here, all things considering. <clears throat> the purpose of the second speech is to show organization. It's got to be followable, understandable. It's got to have clarity where points and subpoints are made. Use transitional words and use strong words to emphasize your points. I have to say, from my opinion at least, it was very easy to understand, and it's quite memorable too. So you made your points and you emphasized them. What I got from it was, I remembered what you were talking about. You're certainly knowledgeable about it, that's for sure. It came across throughout your speech. Your speech was topical. <coughs> However, what I would suggest is perhaps a little stronger opening to grab everyone's attention. Maybe by asking questions or coming up with a appropriate antidotal statement that everybody can follow. I think too, perhaps since you're talking about colors like you were, <coughs> bring in some examples. Because after all, pictures are worth a thousand words, are they not? Again, re-emphasizing your main points, you did that. You brought them to the attention of the audience. You also uh, gave us examples of what colors are and what impact they have. The sub-points that you used that I thought were excellent were the, the use of colors, like you said, cool colors for certain kind of environments or, or moods or settings, warm for a different effect. Be also very aware that if you're using lighting to assess the colors before you buy the colors or select the colors, make sure that you're looking at under the right kind of lighting. And I felt too that you reinforced a lasting impression. By that I meant you recap everything at your conclusion to feel, make us feel comfortable so we can retain all that information that you were giving us. Now I would suggest, maybe like Diane does so well, you step from behind the lectern. Stand in front, go to the side, work the room, make the eye contact. It's an effective demonstration of comfort and skill. And no one knows and any better, <clears throat> but what you're doing is really trying to put the emphasis of your speech into their minds. And that's an effective way of doing it that Diane does. I thought you had some very nice use of transitional words and strong words that you use like anxiety. Anxiety for the baby. Who would have thought yellow would have been an anxiety card? Who knew? But see, that's why you, you contract with an interior designer because they know that kind of stuff. And I felt and do feel that by not having an interior designer, the most expensive thing you could do is not use one and hence have to replace what you did. All in all, it was a terrific second speech. Congratulations. Yay.